Hey learners, welcome back to my channel. I am Rupal Gupta. So I have started a new series in which I will be sharing some tricky and advanced SQL questions. You can expect these questions if you are appearing for any intermediate or experience level role. So let's get started with our first question. So guys, this is the interview problem that we have. On the left side, we have the input table. This input table has three columns, column A, column B and column C. The kind of values that are available in this table include some nulls and some ones. So we need to write an SQL query to print this output table in this format. Now for the solution, let's go to the MySQL workbench. So guys, now we are at the MySQL workbench and I have already created a table, table ABC against the input table that we have. So first of all, let's write a basic select statement to fetch the data from that table. And then we will be proceeding towards writing the solution for the interview question. So let me quickly mention the database name uses. Let's execute this first. Then let's write the basic select statement select star from table ABC. Let's execute this as well. There we go. Yes. So this is the input table that we have and we need to write an SQL query to print this as the output table. So before proceeding towards writing the solution for this problem, let's examine the input table first. So in this input table, please note that in every column, there is one one and two nulls. Similarly, in every row, there is one one and two nulls, right? Now, in order to write the solution, what we can do, we can use four functions here. The first function that we can use is max. So if we are using max for a column name, then what we are getting suppose we are passing max a what we will be getting we will be getting one because for every values that are available in this column a we have one null and null so one will be the maximum value which is available in every column so this function will be giving us one we can also use the min function here because if we are calculating the minimum value from a particular column null values are not considered so min of a will also give us 1. The third function that we can use here is count. Since if we are using count for a particular column, then nulls are not considered. So if we are counting the number of records in every column, column A, column B and column C, we will be getting 1 because nulls will not be considered. So count of A will also give us 1. The fourth function that we can use here is sum. So basically, if we are summing 1, null and null, so we will be getting 1, right? So sum of column A will also give us 1. So these four functions we can use to write our solution, right? So let me write this answer. So let's use the max function first. So max of A as A. I'm using aliasing here as I want to print the column name as A. You can see that in the output table as well. Max of B as B. The third column that I want to print here is max of C as C from table ABC. So let's execute this to see the output. See, we are getting 1, 1, 1, and the columns that we are getting are A, B, and C. So this is similar to the expected output. Similarly, we can use min function. Let me write the query again. So we can use min of a, min of b, min of c. Let's execute this to see the output. See, again we are getting a, b, c and 1, 1, 1. The third function we can use count. So count of A, count of B, count of C. Let's execute this. See, we are getting 1, 1, 1 and the columns are A, B and C. So we are getting the desired output. Similarly, we can use some function. So let me replace this max with sum function and this again with this max with sum function. 
let's execute this. See, we are getting ABC and 111. So we can use these four functions to write the solution that we are expecting. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this. Also, in case of any doubt, please do let me know in the comment section.